taken off the doors. I did not take off the doors. I've taken off the doors and the knobs. I have to figure out how to take the drawers off. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Natasha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you guys my very first home project and it's how I refurbished an old china cabinet into a new coffee station credenza. And the first thing to do, take everything off. Here I am just taking off all the nuts and bolts and screws and hinges of everything. Very tedious to do with nails on. Totally wouldn't recommend, but hey, I had to get done anyway. So after I took everything off, I had a spray bottle full of water and vinegar and I just gave everything a clean wipe down so I wouldn't have any dirt or grime or dust when I started to paint. And here it is with all the doors and everything off. And then it was time for me to start painting. So I went to Walmart and I purchased some white uh, chalk paint by Kills. No particular reason. It was just the color I wanted. It dries in an hour, so it was good enough for me. I'll put the description in the link down below. This part is so satisfying. But then I took out the doors and I put them down on some tar paper that I had. I had been painting my kitchen anyway. Um, I wasn't really too concerned about going with the grain or anything like that. I was just really focused on getting it covered, especially since it was only the first coating. When I was done with that, I let it sit for about 20, 30 minutes, and then I went back in for the second coat of paint. And this time I was really focused on getting in the grooves, the little um, netting texture that's on the front of the doors, so it worked out well. Then I started painting the inside. I couldn't figure out how to get these middle pieces off, but as you see here, I eventually did, which was great because when I was sticking my head inside of it, I kept getting paint in my hair, all over my arms, as you can see. So if you can, take out every single thing. It's gonna make your life so much easier. I let those dry for a little bit, and then I started painting the outside, which I thought was going to take a lot longer than it did, but it went really quick. While that was drying, I went in, you guessed it, for a second coat of paint. I actually had to go back to the store because I forgot the stain, the most important part. Here it is in classic gray. I also put the description link for that below. I bought some new paint brushes and some new knobs. I didn't really like the knobs that were on there. And so I bought these silver rectangular ones, which I feel really add to that rustic look I was going for because the decor in my house is modern farmhouse. And then hubby came and decided to help me finish painting um, the top. So that was really fun. Shout out to you, hubby, for helping me out in my DIY project. And guess what? I had to go back to the store because we ran out of paint, but this time I purchased rust -Oleum spray paint, still in the same color. I'm really glad I did because it went so much um, quicker. And of course, I used the mask because one, fumes, and two, I knew my dad would be watching this, and if I didn't wear a mask, I would never hear the end of his voice because once you're a daddy's girl, you're always a daddy's girl. But like I said, the spray paint really helped it go by much quicker than using the paint and paintbrush. So here it is, completely covered with the second coat um, that I used with the spray paint. I love how it came out, covered it just right. And then here we go. I had to put all the nuts and bolts and doohickeys and hinges back on everything. Again, very tedious to do with nails on. As you can see, it was an outfit change because I actually took three days to complete this project. But that's mom life when you have three kids. And you can see as I was trying to get some of the other pieces inside that I scratched it, but I was like, it's okay. It's just going to hold wine anyway. So no one's really gonna pay attention to that. 
All right, and here it is, completely covered in paint, and now it was time to stain. I just took my paintbrush, dipped it in, and just completely covered the whole thing in stain. I let it sit for about five minutes, and then I wiped it off with an old uh, T-shirt. And here's the finished project. I love how it came out. It was exactly how I envisioned it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll definitely be doing some more home project videos. Bye.